I didn't do that. The kids up the street are sitting on firecrackers and Evie and Pumpkin were sitting out here. And they got scared. <laughs> Just a minute. Yeah, they're, they're setting off firecrackers in the road. <laughs> That's funny. I hope y'all are having a good day. It is Sunday. I just started this video and I heard firecrackers over there. And <laughs> I, have the, I have the front door open and Evie and Pumpkin were sitting right in the door. And it scared them. <laughs> Well, they got a whole bunch of firecrackers. Dang. Oh, the sun is blinding me. Mm, I have a flag right here and it was down, but now the wind has picked up enough. Anyway, um, I haven't done a whole lot today. No, you, you know what I've done? What have I done? I slept late this morning. I went to bed late last night. I slept late this morning. I slept until I felt like getting up. I puttered around the house. I didn't go anywhere until, well, I did have an exercise class this afternoon. I did go to that. Came home, took a nap. <laughs> I have been so lazy, it's been awesome. Okay. Dang wind, the wind feels good. It's a beautiful day. It's just gorgeous. You know, I could go sit somewhere else. It's, it feels good out here in the sun. You know, it feels nice. Get a little vitamin D or something. You know, it feels good. But after a little bit, it starts to feel warm. It's not as hot today as it's been. You know, it's been really hot for the last couple of weeks. But yesterday wasn't too bad. Today was really nice first thing this morning. It was like 62 degrees outside. It felt wonderful. Um, I've just been talking to my son about going to see the new Top Gun movie because um, he you know we were gonna go see it so we're trying to work out when we're gonna go see that because I have to work around his work schedule and stuff I have going on so we're trying to figure out when we can go <sighs> so we're doing that my younger son doesn't want to go he has no interest in the Top Gun movie so I guess it's just gonna be us just my older son and me and but my younger son wants to go see the Jurassic Park movie and you know I want to go see that. You know I want to go see that. But I've already heard from several people that it's not good. It's just not, not good. That it's just like the plot makes no sense. It's just bad. Um, which I don't ever go by. I don't go by movie critics. I never, I don't care. And I know people who swear by movie critics. Well, if the critics like it, I have to go see it. If the critics don't like it... I have no interest. Like critics, critics are dumbasses. Okay, don't listen to critics. For me, I find the opposite. If critics love a movie, I hate it. If they hate it, I love it. So either they're a dumbass or I'm a dumbass. Somebody's a dumbass up in here. I'm gonna say it's them. But I don't. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about critics. I don't give a shit about awards. I don't care if it won every Oscar that was up for grabs that year. I don't give a damn. They don't mean anything to me. I think all that stuff's kind of, I'm not going to say it's rigged, but I, I think, uh, I, I think, I don't know that it's an accurate uh, measure of how good a movie is. So I don't care. I've never watched award shows in my life. I don't plan to start now. I don't give a shit who won what. I don't care. But I have heard from people I know who have gone to see it who said, ah, oh, it's, it's bad. I know you, I know you like Jeff Goldblum and this movie's bad. I don't care if he's in it, I'm going to go see it. I've seen, I think I've seen every movie he's ever been in at least once. Um, <laughs> movies you've never heard of, I have seen because he was in them. Because I'm ridiculous, but I'll go see it. I'll go see it with my son. Because we haven't been to see, I got to thinking about it. I haven't been in a movie theater to see a movie and I don't know how long. Oh my God. It's been, it was before, before, uh. The pandemic of March of 2020 it was before that last time I went to see a movie my lips are still bothering me I'm using I have two of these I have aqua for immediate relief for very dry lips I have this little tube and then I have a, another one that's the same thing in like a a cream formula or whatever um, 
that I've been using and it's helping. I'm not using my CO Bigelow stuff. I will say they're not getting worse, but they still don't feel good. They still feel kind of janky and I'm not really, I'm not really sure why. I'm gonna make this short because I gotta get inside. I'm gonna be mowing the front yard here in a little bit. I've already, I've already changed into my work pants. These are some pants I bought at Lidl. They're cargo pants, they have pockets, they have all kinds of stuff, and they have double knees, like the fabric here, it's like doubled. They're great pants. Um, wearing my hair in a braid has worked out brilliantly, even for a class where I'm hopping around and jumping around, it didn't come out. I got these clips on Amazon that are supposed to be really good for fine hair. They have the silicone grippy stuff in them. Well, it's not really si silicone, but it's it has something in there to help grip, keep it in your hair and keep it from sliding out. And I had a little bit of texturizing sea salt spray and I spritzed a little bit of that in my hair before I braided it up. And just put a little fabric hair tie in it at the end and works like a charm. Hell, I even took a nap with it in a braid and it didn't, well, it's getting a little wild right there, but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to a beauty contest. I'm getting ready to mow the yard. <laughs> I don't give a shit. This, I don't know if, you, if you've noticed that about me. There's, there, there are a whole lot of things I don't care about. I think a lot of people have lost their priorities. And I think a lot of us are bored. And we have invented things to worry about. But a lot of people have lost sight of the things that really matter. And they spend too much time and energy worrying about things that just don't matter. I'm guilty of doing that myself. Um... And I think when we don't have enough to worry about, we just invent problems because that's the nature of the human brain. It likes to solve problems. And throughout all of our evolutionary history until the last little bit, your survival depended on your ability to constantly solve problems. So now that it has nothing to do, it just invents shit to worry about. Evie, are you still scared of the uh, firecrackers? Evie! Wally's not out here right now. I don't know where he is. Evie, hey, did you just wake up? Pumpkin gave up. Pumpkin said, hell no. Pumpkin just left. <laughs> Pumpkin went inside. She's probably up under my bed scared to death. Ah, anyway, I don't know. What do I worry about? Um, I don't worry about celebrities. I don't worry about what my neighbors are doing. Except for crazy lady up there, as long as she's not threatening to kill me or coming down here to scream at me, which she has not done. Last time she did that was uh, end of March. She hasn't done it since then, so. Well, don't worry, she'll be back. She's never done. I did hear, though, that she terrorized a different neighborhood about a mile away. For some reason, she went into this neighborhood, drove down there, got out of her car, and got out and started screaming at everybody, and then got in her car and drove away. It's like, I don't know. Sorry. Try living next to her. It's a real treat. I worry about my kids. I worry about my family. Beyond that, I don't worry too much about what other people are doing or I don't, I don't care. I try to have fun when I can. I try to enjoy little things in life. There's a lot of joy to be found out there if you just look for it. But if you're always looking for bad shit, that's what you're going to find. I think we all tend to find what we're looking for, whatever that may happen to be. If you want to find misery, you will. If you want to find happiness, you will. I guess it just depends on what you want to find. I know people that thrive on finding misery. They just they just do. They, they thrive on finding drama. They thrive on finding conflict. And they find it. They find it. I, I would rather be at peace with myself and have peace in my home. That means more to me than... Any, any drama ever will. So anyway, I know this is short, but I gotta, I gotta go get some stuff done. I truly do. I need to go get some clothes in the washer and pull a few weeds before I pull, blah, before I mow. And uh, my little flowers are looking pretty good. Here, hold on. Look at them out there. They look all happy, my little, my little flowers. And that's my, that's my dogwood right there. And Boop came down here. Boop. Boop. 
Everybody's just kind of hanging out. Evie's hanging out. Evie! Evie! She's actively ignoring me. But yeah, I hope you're having a good Sunday. It's been good. I haven't even thought about what video I was going to make today. I was actually going to do one, but it was kind of involved. And I ended up just taking a nap. <laughs> I said, screw it. I just took a nap. I said, it's not going to happen today. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be simple, whatever it is. Because I'm just not in the mood to do anything complicated today. So... I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. I hope your weekend uh, I hope your weekend was wonderful. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you again soon.